Close. Cause you didn't close the enter door. Enter door. Airlock protocol. I walked inside and you instantly just started venting our air that we just tried so hard to get. You know what? It uses up so much air as well. We should probably install Darth's um door mod that has the windows in them. I like them windows. Or how about we just get some sensors and make this work? Oh, you want to go back down? You know, you want to do that? You can go ahead and make them sensorified, but or maybe. Maybe you can find a way to put a timer on it that closes the door after a second, like a timer block that's set off every time a door's opened. It's mm -hmm. told to close that door again after X amount of time. Yeah, with my Probably easier than setting up the sensors. Yeah, no death without helmet. Do 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 do. Why do I keep on hitting the wrong button? Darren, no! What? What? Oh, why was the wrong thing? Sorry. There you go. I'm glad I was just about to click helmet off. Got me delicate. There we go. Strangely enough, I don't think it vented the room. Did it vent the room? I don't think it did. I really don't like when I took my helmet off. It comes up in my corner. Oxygen zero. But I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's kind of scary. But just check the thing at the bottom right. And remember, this just means there's no oxygen in your suit. I know. It's a bit weird, weird. It is a bit weird that it doesn't refuel the oxygen in your suit at that point. Right. And hex grid. I'm Yay. gonna go ahead and make us some oxygen tanks. Uh, yeah. Okay. We've got plenty of ice now. F four now. Uh, do we? I mean, we put got like 15k in there, but I don't know how much oxygen I actually got us. I'll go check the oxygen tanks. How about that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I'm out. Yeah. We need to get the the window doors. Yeah. So, just. Uh, until we get a proper airlock with tanks and... Like, is that going to lose us oxygen every time we do that? I think just those two doors like that are fine, but um, I don't think they lose any because it never says that there's oxygen in between them when you close them both, so theoretically they're not filling that little area with O2. Uh, all of our O2 tanks are equally filled at 2.32%. So we hmm. do have some O2. Oxygen is low. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, uh, make us those bottles, and then work on the solar thing, okay? Okay. Just so you guys know, I'm also going to disable the oxygen generator from auto-filling these tanks, and I'm gonna put it on, um, for one of the actual oxygen tanks to be auto-refilling stuff. Yep. Actually, all, so all I've got to do is drop your tank into one of the marked uh, oxygen tanks and it'll refill it. Uh, so anyone, anyone else got all the lag on stage? A little bit. Do, 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 do. Ping, 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 ping. My ping's fine. How about now? Am I better? Not nah, fine. I'm just checking your ping there. You're fine. Okay. Uh, if you guys go ahead and look at any of the conveyor system, you can go ahead and get yourself an O2 thing now. Look, O2, we live. Yeah, take a two. I built enough for each of us to have two. Are they filled? Yeah, they're all full up. So how do we use them? Uh, when your O2 reaches 30%, it'll just auto Sweet. take like 42% out of there to bring you back up to 100. Because I might have not watched uh, any of the uh, videos yet. <laughs> I read the website and kind of was at work. Uh, it happens. How is it working? Things work. Alright. Uh, where can I start working projects? There we go, guys. We now have oxygen taken care of pretty much. I'd say that was successful, wouldn't you? Nice. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a docking area for our ship so we can switch them off, like I said. Yeah. Well, do we do have hangers. Maybe talk, work with Aaron and figure out which hangers you want to set up how and yeah Actually work with like docking clamps and stuff inside them i don't know how again i'm thinking about using these hangers on the the wall because i thought that was for the uh 3d printing uh, that, that's uh, one of them is going to be 3d printing and the other yeah, is going to be storage long, right the long way off the though. solar cells like, these I could, rotors are really wobbly like I literally all i have to do is put inside them uh connectors that aren't connected to anything and you can just fly your ship in there connect it and switch it off mm. you just the doors aren't that big compared to some of the sizes of like Tool and the Hag. Mm. So what I could literally do is go up to the top bit here, 
put a line of just a kind of floor down of heavy armor, put some connectors on it, and a small reactor. And it's literally just to lock them at the top and that leave them switched off. Come to you guys. Yeah, I'm talking about putting it up in one of these like lips in the asteroid at the top. Silence. <laughs> okay, so you're talking about constructing... Because I completely lost track there, sorry. So you're talking about constructing it in, like, the area up above. Yeah, where two ones corpse went. Right. Uh, that could work. Just a flat area ground with uh, floating and, and uh, connectors on it. And uh, there's a small reactor power in it. And you can let your fly ship up there, lock it down, switch it off and walk away. That'll probably work. Yeah, just docking stations, really. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that works. Go ahead and set that up. It's not going to have anything... Ah, it's not going to have anything like connectors to the, the yeah, main station. Completely on its own, but maybe, like, try to have, like, struts sticking out. That way we can fly ships in between ships and stuff if we need to. Yeah, I'll start grabbing the base resources, just panels. Whee! Because, like, right now we've got the hag dock to the docking bit, which means no one else can get in. Do, 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 do. Now I'll make the ground out of heavy plate because you know everything melts. Bum 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 bum. So now that we have O2 tanks, we can carry around with us to boost our O2. I figure we might eventually get um batteries finally. Hmm. So you could sacrifice a little bit of your inventory, and voila, now you have battery. Yeah, that, that, that would make sense. Err. Uh, batteries, I would expect them to would fall on the same standard, you know. Yeah, it kind of opens a lot more options, like, I think you'll probably see that maybe even you know we've got oxygen now we've got energy i'm wondering if food will come into it i do hope so I, i'm oh, sort of food. Hoping we'll get food with um like the food. ability to actually get oxygen from growing said food so you're talking about like hydroponics so cool. yeah hydroponics so you go grow your food and in doing so you also get your o2 hmm. i wonder if the <laughs> okay, you know we get we get oxygen from mining and astrid how do you get seeds Oh, that's a good point, that. That's but yeah, that point. is a good point. Maybe oh, inside some random asteroids, you have, maybe you have to find them off of, like, empty colonies? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. That is a good question. Everyone maybe, spawns maybe, with a pack maybe, of seeds. Maybe they have, like, an organic generator or something that generates sort of organic matter. It or... makes life. <laughs> uh, not like that. I mean, just, like, replicates the, the seeds. Or it's alive! I don't know. The whole idea of that food stuff, though, comes from... It means that you have to be based in a planet or somewhere that... Like I said, the planet thing has come in, so you might get seeds from there, might you? Yeah, you yeah, would. There you go. You would yeah, get... maybe that'll be how you get seeds, is you have to find a planet and go down there and land, and... Aha! Seeds! And then you can go back up into the stars. That is such a interesting thing. It always... It would be cool. Seeds, yeah. I would like, like, a food would be some, I would come out quite like that. Ah, damn it. Switch my jetpack off again. Would be <laughs> something I would, I'd be interested in. Because it would mean you would either have to make a base like we've got, or your large ships would have to, if you're going for a long distance ship, you would have to think. Yeah, what are you going to need? Are you going to need huge O2 tanks, or are you going to want to bring some something else? I also, something else. <laughs> it also Sorry. makes me think like oh, that'd be a good way of destroying a ship. Would be taking out its oxygen supplies. It could be a terribly good way to take down a ship, yeah. Okay, we're set for our three year voyage and then something, you know, somebody boards you and just vents your O2 supply. But you can't actually just vent supplies right now, can you? You have to actually use it. Hmm. Or 
got away the glass. Oh yeah, but that will vent a single room. You can't like just tell a vent to be like, okay, start venting everything. Oh, I like a master control. Oh, the ah, uh, you get to ha get to the uh, what's the word? Atmospheric yeah. controls and just. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is, can I just turn off the oxygen in this place for a bit while I just go in and out and build some stuff? Oh, that sounds uh, hot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, before you do that, make sure you set the vent in there to be decompressed. That um, way, it'll actually take the oxygen out of the room and store it. Compressing now. Groovy. Okay, sucking, sucking, sucking. Oh, there we go. Oxygen is low. Oxygen is numb. I'm just going. Okay. I'm just going to switch the oxygen off. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Right. Okay. The the airlock's just going to be permanent. I open for a bit then, whilst I yolo back and forth. Yolo. Okay. Like that through. Yeah, I kind of regret saying it as well. Uh, right. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? As soon as it was, what am I doing? I've, I really should be just putting the base blocks down, then we're getting tool to to do that to work for me that would be the logical thing to do i built it i must bloody use it i might have just fucked something up what something mega are we going to die no just my design i didn't think it through oh titty i just hope Pups. i hope uh, with these updates more to auction the next one maybe well taking him off of a button would be lovely uh and maybe being able to pressurize an asteroid. Maybe be able to what? what? Pressurize an asteroid. an asteroid. Oh, pressurize an asteroid would be heavenly. Would be nice. The oh rover thing out here seems to have stabilized, by the way. It's seeming to be completely hey, Sage, stable. Hey, can you come and see if you can take some of these items off me? Uh, yeah, sure. Give me one second. Uh, my corpse, I can't pick them up for corpse. I'm a bit annoyed, really, but... I've, I've sort of confused myself with what I'm doing here. Is so. your corpse misbehaving? Uh, yeah, I'll, come, I'll come see what's up with the corpse. Uh, he doesn't seem to want to um, receive aid. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay. One second. I gotta grab a little bit of energy. Okay, okay. Oh god, auction 32%. Uh, oh no, thanks. No, no, just, yeah, just ignore it. It'll pop back up on its own. It should. Famous last words. Oh, pop! Oh, god, I'm dead. Yeah, as long as you didn't accidentally empty your inventory. Up a load of oh, I picked up the splay. Uh, huh. Oh. It's been filled from bottle. It seems to only use a tiny little bit of it now. Wait, what just happened? Oh, so I still choose. Oh, auction oh, fell. So, oh, I refilled as well. Yeah, mine just came out there as well. Did your O2 go all the way back? No, no, it didn't go back up. Uh, no, mine went up the body like in there. Itty bitty bit. What you the hell? You think it would fill up all the way? It's supposed to, that's what it no, did the I other think, day. I think, are you sure it, it, it's working like that now, or is it just using it from that tank? Oh, like you think it's using mm -hmm. it from the tank slowly and I am just haven't been paying attention? No, both my tanks just went straight to zero. Yeah, both my tanks are now empty as well. Running! Um, uh, that's uh, confusing. Aaron, please tell me that room's pressurized. Nope. No, no. Please you pressurize it. Pressurized. Just, what? just grab some oxygen out of the oxygen tank. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Where, where's the oxygen tank? Oh, it's inside the, it's inside the same tank. Um, oh, bugger. I just died. I don't need auction tanks anymore. Uh, Aaron, I was able to get some stuff off your body. You got the, the construction components? Yeah, I'm putting them back in the yeah, Thank God, I was area. a bit worried about that. Have you got them on you or have you put them back? I put them back. You want, want me to take everything else off and just toss no, to you? No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I just All need right. to get through and keep working on this. What are you doing up there? Uh, I'm building a command control module with all the sensors and crap. Already. You'll see when yeah. it's done. You just you just have to wait and see. It's not one of them oh. things that I can really briefly describe. Just just expect lots right. of numbers did, and digits. Did one of you used to empty my corpse? Uh, where was your corpse? Oh, no, that's my old corpse. Where was my corpse? I thought I was at the door. Yeah, it's, I think okay, Sage so might I just, have molested I you. just took an O2 thing out of the oxygen thing. And it drained the oxygen canister instantly down to zero, and my O2 is still at like 24 or something. So it's clearly not working. Hmm. So uh, for now, we need to just um. Uh oh, hold on. I'm missing a corpse. That was my first corpse from the door. God, how many corpses? Motors and computers. Was it up here? Seriously, I've lost a corpse. They should have a place in your inventory. If they do do like a character, you know, you can on and off your helmet using a inventory system. Oh, when they system, do an animation. 
Uh, I hope they have an animation, maybe, but I definitely want it so there's also other slots for, like, a special jetpack, maybe, yeah. or ideally slots for an oxygen tank, too. So if you have those oxygen tanks, you can actually equip them in those special slots and they'll hmm. maybe even show up on your suit or something. I'm panicking, Aaron. Why? Um, do you mind if I pressurize that room really quick so uh, I can get so some if air? I can be in it, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's, let's. Because there's no other way to get air right now. Things have gone terribly wrong. I'm missing a, yeah, I'm missing a corpse that had a couple of thousand uh, steel plates on it. And my oxygen tanks. Okay. Um. I miss you, corpse. Well, that was creepy. Okay, pressurizing the room. Doors are open. Copy. Oh, the inner door's open, so I can't get in. Okay, we'll close it in a second, sorry. One second. Oh, I need steel. You got steel plates on you? There we go, that's good. Thank you. I need uh, more. Do I? I have, yes, I got like 200 and something. You want them? Uh, yeah, just, just quickly weld this up for me, will you? Okay, well, give me a second. I need to get my helmet off. I'm at 13% air. Okay. I could just cheat and just switch suits and then switch back right away, but it feels wrong. Oh, okay, what do you want me to weld up? Just, just to weld up the rotor, please. The rotor. No, with that rotor head. That's the rotor head. Again, oh, there's. there's thank you. There's a rogue Scottish corpse out there, and I don't know where it went. <laughs> oh, it's just damn walking it. around somewhere. Damn it. Have what you got an done? interior plates on you? Because I've just forgot. That's the one thing I forgot to bring up. I got 20. Well, can you just put a timer block down for me, please? What uh, are you building on? Uh, up here or somewhere, anywhere. This area is going to be all neatened up. Where do you want it? Just, I'd whack it next to here for the moment. You sure you don't want me to put it somewhere out of the way so it's hidden? Um. I could put it under the elevator. Uh, no, no, no. I need to access it. Okay. Putting it right there. All right, good. Uh, this is all gonna be. You'll be. I'm gonna turn it into a little, you know, cubicle thing. All right. Computers. Put my spacesuit on and going back out. All right, can I do pressurize now? Um. Yeah. Sure. Oh, someone just fucking ripped all the air out. What? It just says there's air in here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just saw the depressurization um, thing. Uh, where are we going? There, I turned it on. I found the thank vent. You, thank it's you. the only vent in our whole system. Ah. So, Sage, I'm working up here, Ian. This is where I'm working up in this kind of... I don't know what you want to call this. Aaron continues to die the same way. Wait, what? did you die? Uh-huh. Do you die? Yes. Seems I... like the corners of blocks at the moment are really buggy for dying on. I did yeah. not die. So, what happened? Uh, well, we were both standing on an elevator right next to each other, and suddenly we expired. Wow, I said that elevator was a death trap. What did I need for that timer block? I totally forgot. It's totally <laughs> escaped, my, totally escaped my mind. Hey, Scott, uh, I found your body. Oh, there was one. It's where? It's inside the main room? No, that was my first body. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Aaron, you had a lot of stuff on you when you were Yeah, fired. no. Computer, construction components, interior plates. Less yeah, like 2,000 computers. Might I just not take Well, I'm that lot. close. I shouldn't be dying, should I? Computers, construction Did you need 2,000 computers? I did. You needed all 2,000? Well, I wouldn't need them all, but I would need quite a portion of them to finish this. So I'm taking a thousand off you to put them somewhere safer. Because I can't take things out of my body, so you may as well take them all. Okay. Sure. I don't know why the heck that's. Ha why did that just happen? It booted me out of the menu. Uh, this area they just did the same to so me. Open the doors. What the heck is going on? I'm saving. Can we just put stairs there, please? Oh, someone said. I think we're going to eventually. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I really don't trust the elevators in this game. Are we depressurized? Yeah, it's depressurized. Are the. Wide open. Are the new pistons, the piston airlocks, they any safer? Uh, what, what? Less spurgy. There's, there's no new pistons. Are you talking about the doors? Yeah, about the, they are kind of basically pistons. Uh, they, they don't work like a piston though. They don't push stuff. So yeah. You can't build on top of them, and they're more reliable. These are not spurgy at all. They're, they're uh. just like a normal door. That's how dangerous they are, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Except I have seen people online mention that they have had issues where stuff blew up near them so i don't know maybe not <laughs> you do say the dangerous is normal door. the first two seconds of this video is me dying by a normal door it was like oh door dead yeah <laughs> dangerous okay so there we go got all this got all this got all uh, i do know that we could oh, god i got so much stuff to do um Uh, okay, I have no idea who that is calling me. Brilliant. Oh, what's that? Antenna. 
New antenna just appeared. Uh, mining barge, I think. Is that what that says? Mining barge, military mining, one of those two. We need okay. to build. We need to build an interceptor so we can go after them quicker. Would be nice. I'm building this the same way, aren't I? No, I'm not. This will be better. Because this time I will do it with this block. <laughs> okay. Somebody calling me again? No. It's a text message. Just check your phone number. It is working, but you're not answering. Who is this? <laughs> what? Nice well in Florida today. Um. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, if you enjoy sunlight, for <laughs> me it's insufferable. But for your common human being, it's good. Now, well, if you do like sunlight, you come to Scotland. All we have is drizzle. Yeah, I hear it's pretty good like that everywhere uh, in those aisles. We are worse in England by a little bit. Yeah, I believe it. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely when it's sunny, but... Yeah, the rare days. Oh, frankly, I think it's lovely when it's raining. Oh, you're gonna love Scotland then. Nothing is more depressing than driving a motorcycle in the rain. I don't know, I bet you there's more depressing things in the world. Mm. It's not fun, I can tell you that. No, I'll agree with that one. Like, driving a motorcycle in the rain does not sound like fun. Right, it I'm... sounds actually terrifyingly dangerous. Do you own a motorcycle? Yeah, I don't, I don't is, have one a car. Is your main form yeah. of transport? <laughs> My only form of transport. I need to get a, lot, a car license. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. That sounds terrifyingly dangerous. I have been driving for four years in a motorcycle and only came off twice. <laughs> <laughs> the first time was hilarious. No, hold on. This shouldn't be a, and I've only crashed twice. It's not how your driving should be. It should be, I've been driving for 20 years and I've never been in an accident. Not, I've been driving for four years and only two of those years did I have an accident that could have cost me my life or those around me who suffered Dear grief and damage. Yeah, it was black ice both times, both of Decembers. One, okay, the first time, uh, whole, the end results was my whole side black and blue. I didn't break anything, just really bruised. Uh, did it on the corner in front of my work. My staff yeah, were watching. <laughs> my staff actually watched me do it. I was like, hi. And the funny thing, lying on my side, lying on the road with a motorcycle kind of pinning me, cars drove around me. Oh, <laughs> No one even stopped. No one put the window down. They drove around me. What were you moving? Hmm? I was probably only... I, I saw this corner coming. I went, this don't look right. Slowed yeah, right. Did they look at you and like go, oh, he's all right? Or did they just like look the other way and go, oh, I'm, not, I'm too busy right now. Yeah, basically. They, 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 oh, that. those assholes. He's, he's moving. He's, he's moving a little bit. He'll be fine. And why? They're going... <laughs> Why? And like, hey, he's, he's moving. He'll be alright. It's a kidney damage or anything. I don't know how, but I, there's a big piece of metal. Maybe that's why. Uh, it was not fun. Bike was fine. I took the bolt. I took all the damage. I was bruised. The uh, bike used me as cushioning. <laughs> so, yeah. Second. Why did I just queue up steel plates? Or, luckily, or... luckily, I went, was going on, it must have been 10 miles an hour. Oh, so it wasn't a fast crash. No, it wasn't. I saw the corner. It was a uh, kind of ninety degree corner. So I was thinking to myself, "Oh crap!" And two seconds later, I'm on my side. Second time was basically also just as bad because it was about my driveway, at four a.m. Uh, I looked at my watch. I looked at my uh, phone to see the weather forecast, and it was three degrees. So three degrees. It's not going to be icy. Well, uh, I mean. Really close to being icy. Yeah, it, the te it must have been really cold. Temperature must have dropped really low and then gone and you back know how up. It is if there's a breeze or something, you can press push it to that point where it will be. Yeah. So I walked outside, went down my driveway, and the bike just went from underneath me. And again, I'm lying there staring at the ceiling, going, hmm. 
So you weren't even really moving. Like your bike wasn't even really on yeah. as much as you were just walking with it. No, no, I was on it. I drive oh. down my driveway. And, oh, you uh, said you were walking down there and went zoop. No, no, I was uh, driving really slowly. So I'm getting okay. full, very lucky, going slow. I've not come off at high <laughs> speed. Like, I say this now as, a, as an adult who drives a motorcycle, do it at your own risk. I accept the fact that if my life is in my own hands doing it. I don't have a nice metal cage around me that's certified by some car manufacturer. Uh, my dad uh, used to want a motorcycle. My mother was not too keen on that idea. Oh, here's the funny thing. The motorcycle was my mother. Well, it wasn't my mother there. My mother's like, I'm fed up. Well, this was a few good few years ago. I'm fed up picking you up from work because I didn't have a car. And eh, it's not the smart. It's best to walk home at night sometimes. Uh, so mum's like, go buy yourself a scooter. Or, you know, she thought, she thought a little uh, Vespa. A little 50cc like, eh, Vespa. Yeah, those things that you see people driving, you think, does that man want to kill himself every morning he wakes up? <laughs> it's teeny, it's got no guts, barely goes 30 miles an hour. Yeah. And then I came back from motorcycle from uh, shopping. I bet you she loved that. 